Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is another monthly T Fuel earnings update, and this is from my Elite Edge node. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot. All right, and this one, just like my previous videos, I'm going to go over a little bit of educational content. We'll talk about the Theta Edgecast, and then we'll hop right into the earnings. So if you don't want to, uh, pay attention to the educational part in the very beginning. If you know all about the Edgecast, definitely fast forward on over to the earnings. It's the second half of the video. But... Uh, like I always say, uh, just a little bit of educational content is definitely good to hear. Put it on 2x speed, and then we'll blast over to those earnings afterwards. So the Edgecast overview, if you're unfamiliar with it, it was released in uh, 2017. And as you know, Theta is fully decentralized video infrastructure, uh, and it, would, it has so many benefits. Uh, a couple of them are end users should be rewarded for sharing their excess bandwidth to relay videos to others in the community content creators should earn more for creating original content and free to choose whichever platform they like and then video platforms should be able to lower cdn costs from using theta's peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure increased user engagement and ultimate revenues so to bring this vision to the market uh, they created uh, the theta edgecast so you have a choice is what Theta is saying. You can choose from advertiser supported platforms like YouTube or Twitch or subscription based platforms like Netflix or Hulu where you have to pay $9.99 per month uh, to watch. Or you can try out Theta's decentralized video platform which is that third option and it is brand new um, you know it's been out for a little while now but the concept is still relatively new compared to those other ones so built with this vision the theta edgecast is the first fully decentralized video streaming dap that is 100 percent built on theta's native blockchain and it's uh, ran via smart contracts um, so it's pretty interesting because the technology stack includes the ability to capture video, transcode it in real time, cache and relay to other users globally, and it's all using Theta's peer-to-peer -peer edge node. Um, and at the time, this article, they said over 2,000 edge nodes. Now we're up to about 13,000 edge nodes, so way more than before. Um, here are you know some graphical depictions of what the edge node looks like. Um, but we'll hop on over to Theta TV, where they also talk a little bit more about the Edgecast, and this is where it's utilized. So Theta Edgecast is the first 100% decentralized video streaming, and you can see this article is a little bit later. They're up to 9,000, so still not quite to where it is today. It talks about how to download it. So step one, you just download it. You can click on this tab right here, and then you can set up uh, OBS or some sort of stream streaming uh video platform and then from there you just start streaming it's very simple very easy to do and you can get paid for those streams so very slick very easy and a couple faqs if you thought of something off the top of your head uh, my stream may not be working there's an answer for that can i earn t fuel yes you can uh, is there a delay uh, am i able to clip or rewind the edge cast stream not yet, that hasn't come yet, but if we do check out uh, the Theta Roadmap, uh, check out Q4 2021. Once again, we are almost to the end of Q4, so hopefully uh, an update should be coming soon. Uh, we should see a little bit of news about this, but version two, Edgecast, fully decentralized streaming dApp. So they, it looks like they're revamping it. They're gonna throw some updates on it. Um, and it should be coming out soon if they stick to this roadmap, which Theta has been really good at sticking to the roadmap. So stand by for uh, some updates there. Hopefully we can get a uh, newer version to that Theta Edgecast coming out soon. All right, so now this is what you guys came for. How much am I earning from my Elite Edge node? So if you can check out this month, uh, definitely not quite as much as the month of October. I had a bunch of uh, transactions in uh, October. This month, it definitely looks a lot less, but let's check it out. Oh, one thing I know, uh, a couple comments I get, what equipment am I using? I'm using a Dell G7 Core i7. It's a 15 inch 
uh, laptop and I bought it in 2019 so it is definitely not the newest it doesn't have the you know highest end specs but it is definitely getting the job done guys um, so if we check it out total invested about three thousand five hundred dollars um, and that remains the same I haven't added to this yet the monthly T fuel earned um, I earned about 44 T fuel a little bit over that over this past month which is a lot less than last month where I earned 94 T fuel. Um, so that brings the grand total T fuel to 322 uh, T fuel, which is not a bad number. And of course we know the T fuel price uh, at the time, at the end of November, at the time of recording, T fuel price has dumped uh, with a flash crash over this past weekend. But as you know, uh, at the end of December, it ended at around 31 cents, which is still slightly less than when I invested. It was around 35 cents. So uh, the number of transactions just continue to roll through this nine transactions in the month of November. Uh, once again, if we compare that to October, I had 19 transactions. So less transaction than uh, the monthly USD earned uh, over this month was $13.64. And then another comment that a couple users have asked for is how much energy does my laptop use by doing this? And I did some uh, rough math and the numbers I found was about a dollar actually. And you can check my math here. I checked out the cost. So I went to my energy company. I downloaded the statement and it looks like I'm getting charged about a penny and a half for a kilowatt hour. My laptop uses 60 watts. And if you take 60 watts times 24 hours, divide that by 1,000, you get your kilowatt hours per day. And then from there, you multiply it by 30 to get your kilowatt hours per month. Um, once I got that number, then I multiplied it from uh, the cost of fuel, once again, from my energy company. And I got about 69 cents. Um, so it is definitely... Uh, pretty negligible uh, the laptop energy cost it is something to be factored that is a fair question but it is not a lot of money by comparison just thought I would add that in there and I also factored that into the equation so the total USD earn so far with my elite edge node earnings uh, in the past five months is about ninety eight dollars and eighty six cents my return on the asset and my asset I am classifying as my elite edge node, which I uh, spent $3,500 to get. Um, my asset, looking at the price of $0.31, cents, it is down. Um, but once again, this is a long-term play, so we will see uh, how things fluctuate in the future. Uh, the return on the investment, however, over this past month has been about 2.8%. Um, so a decent investment, but if we were to prog that out, over the entire year and we average or I average the past four months um, into that uh, equation then my total APY would it be about 6.9 just less than 7% APY uh, return on investment um, or the uh, APY for the full year so 7% uh, APY that is not bad um, I will definitely take that I know Solana is paying out about 8% APY so 7% uh, as of right now it is definitely uh, something that I'm happy with uh, hopefully the price of T-Fuel will continue to increase that would make me even happier but overall this is just a good estimate so everyone knows uh, if they want to run an elite edge node how much earnings they can expect all right guys so in summary that's uh, what we talked about my earnings and a little bit of educational content content uh, from the edgecast overview um, and once again if you like this content please like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next one